Sun salutations are an intrinsic part of any flow or vinyasa style yoga practice. However, many beginners are frustrated by their difficulty. This is a highly modified version of sun salutation that you can try if you find the other sun salutations on this DVD to be too strenuous at this time. For this variation, you need a chair. Place your chair on your yoga mat so that it won't slide. I'll give you a moment to set that up. Stand six to eight inches in front of the chair facing it. Look down and position your feet hip width apart with the outer feet parallel with one another. Join your palms at your chest in namaste or prayer position. Opening the core of your chest towards your hands, pause for a moment to tune into your breathing. Mouth is closed. Breath is rhythmic and steady, represented by an ocean sound gently flowing from the base of your throat. Now, breathing in, extend your arms overhead, hands shoulder width apart. And breathing out, hinge from the hips as you bend forward, holding the sides of your chair's seat. Remember to coordinate movement with breath as you inhale and open your chest. Breathing out, bend your elbows, curl over and rest your head on the chair. Bend your knees if your lower back or the backs of your legs are too uncomfortable. This is standing forward bend. Breathe steadily and relax. Bend your knees and breathing in, straighten your elbows, lifting your chest. And breathing out, step your right foot back a couple of feet into a lunge. Your front foot should be flat on the floor. Anchoring your feet and expanding your chest, Breathe in and sweep your side ribs forward and up between your arms to create a gentle back bend, a variation of upward facing dog pose. Breathe steadily and gaze forward. Breathe in, stepping your left foot beside the right. Position your feet hip width apart, heels on the floor. If you feel too far away from the chair, just step forward to a comfortable position. Now, elbows straight, inhale, press the chair. Exhale, pushing your hips back over your heels, positioning your head between your arms and stretching your body long. Breathe steadily. Exhalation as long as inhalation, mouth closed. Now, breathe in, stepping your right foot forward six to eight inches from the chair and breathe out into a lunge. Breathe in, open your chest, and move your ribs toward the back of the chair into upward facing dog pose. Step your left foot forward beside the right. Again, feet parallel and hip width apart. Inhale, bend your elbows. Exhale, curl over to rest your head on the chair, bending your knees if you wish. Breathe in, straighten your elbows, lifting your chest and extend your arms overhead, standing upright. Exhale, bring your palms together at your chest in prayer position, mountain pose. Check your alignment, notice your breathing. We'll repeat it. Breathe in, raise your arms overhead. Breathing out, fold from the hips, hold the sides of your chair, bend your elbows and rest your head relaxed breathing. Now straighten your elbows again as you breathe in to expand your chest, letting your heart radiate forward. Bend your knees deeply. On your next breath in, step your left foot back, bending the right knee to a lunge, foot flat on the floor. Inhale, open your chest, sweeping your chest forward and up. Make sure that you exhale completely after that movement. Step your right foot beside your left, 
Bend your knees deeply and press the chair, pushing the hips back over the feet with your knees bent. If this seems easy, straighten your knees, keeping your back flat. And even in this flat back position, the chest radiates toward the chair. This is a variation of downward facing dog pose. Now bend your knees and on a breath in, step your left foot forward, exhale into the lunge. Breathing in, open the chest. Exhale, bring it forward and up to a little back bend, upward dog pose. Step forward, placing your feet parallel and hip width apart again, six to eight inches in front of the chair. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathing out, bend your elbows, curl over to rest your head on the chair. Restraighten your elbows, opening your heart forward. Breathe in, sweep the arms forward, standing upright. Breathe out, bringing the palms together in Namaste. Last time, inhale the arms overhead. Exhale, bend forward, hold the chair, and relax into your hanging forward bend. Head resting on the chair, knees bent if necessary. Relaxed breathing. Breathe in, straighten your elbows. Spread your chest wide, open it from your core. Now bend your knees, and as you inhale, step your right foot back, exhaling into the lunge. Breathe in, sweep your chest forward and up, and breathing out, roll your shoulders away from your ears to refine the back bend. Make space for exhalation. Bend your knees and push your hands into the chair as you step your left foot back beside the right, and with deeply bent knees, send your hips back over your heels, head between the arms. Long, soft neck shoulder blades towards the hips. Keep your back flat, straighten your knees if possible, and keep your breath steady. Bend your knees as you inhale and step your right foot forward, exhale into the lunge. Breathing in, sweep the chest forward and up. Breathing out, roll your shoulders away from your ears. Step forward with your left foot, aligning your feet as before. Relax the elbows and with a nice, gentle out breath, relax into standing forward bend. Inhale, straighten your elbows and lift your chest. Sweep your arms forward and stand upright in mountain pose. Bring your hands together at the chest. Lie face down on your mat, extending your right arm out in front of you, and roll onto your right side, placing your left hand on the floor in front of your chest. Bend your elbow, resting your head on your hand, and look down the length of your body, lining yourself up as though on a fence rail, a straight line from right elbow to ankle. Once you've checked your alignment, bring your head back onto the same line as the rest of your body. Steady your breathing. Flex your toes, pressing the inner big toe joints together, and lengthen your tailbone away from your waist, curling it slightly forward toward the front hips, while at the same time, drawing your uppermost inner thigh slightly back into the space behind you. These two movements basically cancel each other out, but it stabilizes your hips and you may feel the action engaging muscles deep in your abdomen. This inner firmness stabilizes your lower back as well, allowing you to now bring your left arm alongside your body extending your fingers toward your feet. This delicate balance, Vishnu's couch,
can disturb your breathing, making it tentative, nervous. Steady yourself with the gentle balance of the tailbone and inner thighs coming together as though pulled together by magnets, as well as a steady out breath. Slide your right arm behind your head, turning your head to the left, gazing at your hand. Correct your position if you've rolled back onto your buttocks. The balance in this pose is on the round bone of your outer hip. Again, stabilize your pose with your exhalation. Breathe in as you release and rolling to the other side. Stretch your left arm forward. Bend the elbow, resting your head on your hand. Look down the length of your body, lining yourself up as though on a fence rail, straight line from elbow to ankle. Keep your right hand on the floor until you establish your balance. And make this as delicate a balance as possible. Again, lengthen the tailbone away from the waist, curling it gently forward. Inner thighs gently back, forming a firm base that stabilizes your hips and lower spine. Bring your right arm alongside your body, extending your fingers toward your feet. Again, notice how instability makes your breathing nervous. Find your inner calm with a steady out breath. Slide your hand behind your head, turning your head to the right and gazing at your fingers. Don't try to make this pose easy. Learn to balance as though on a tight rope. Inhale, turn toward the floor, placing your hands, palms down by your ribs, and turn your toes under. Bring your elbows in, and again, strong action. Tailbone away from the waist, curling forward. Inner thighs back to stabilize your core. This time, flattening the back. Curl your collarbones up. Check, flat back. Breathe in, and as you breathe out, push strongly down with your hands and feet, pushing your elbows forward, straightening your arms, and lifting your torso straight and solid as a stick to plank pose. Steady breathing, push to downward facing dog pose. Come back to plank pose. Turning your right leg in, press your outer right foot into the floor and try to root the big toe joint as well. Come forward until your shoulder is almost over your wrist so your arm is angled slightly forward. Bring your left hand to your hip and for the moment keep your left toes on the floor. Adjust the distance between your hand and foot so that your hips are no higher than your shoulders. In fact, as you now inhale and press down with your right hand, you'll lift your chest higher than your hips. Again, press down with your right hand and big toe, chest lifts, tailbone forward, inner thighs back, stable spine. Extend your left arm up to the ceiling, palm forward, gazing straight ahead. Steady your breathing. Feel your core support. Now bring your left leg alongside your right. Steady breathing. Turning your head slowly, gaze at your left hand. Concentrate. Come smoothly out of your pose. Inhale, release. Exhale to plank pose. Turning to the left. Press the outer left foot into the floor. And try to ground the big toe joint.
keeping your right foot on the floor for the moment, right hand on your hip, measure your stance. Enough distance between your hand and foot that your chest will be higher than your hips. Inhale, press strongly down with your hand, lift your chest. Exhale, tailbone forward, inner thighs back. Strongly ground your left arm and foot, extending your right arm to the ceiling, gazing straight ahead. Now bring your right leg alongside your left. Stable back. Inhale, begin to turn your head, gazing up at your hand. Concentrate. Inhale, release, exhale, back to plank pose. Come down to your knees, swing your feet to the side, and lie down on your back with your feet flat on the floor, hip width apart. Join your hands behind your head, widen your shoulder blades, and bring your elbows to the floor. Press your head ever so slightly against your hands. Don't overdo it. You don't want to compress your neck or have your chin jut up. Imagine for a moment lines of movement running from your side ribs down, crossing at your navel, and anchoring deep in the inner hips, pinning both your sit bones and lower back to the floor, keeping your upper body in its fixed position, head in hands, shoulder blades and elbows wide, Head pressed gently back. Inhale, lift the chest to pull your upper body off the floor. Exhale, pull your navel to your spine. And as though someone is pulling your side ribs, rise a little higher. Release, coming all the way to the floor. And relax for a moment. Again. Head in hands, shoulder blades and elbows wide. Feel as though strings are attached to your side ribs. Inhale, chest rises, pulling you off the floor. Exhale, side ribs pull you up, navel pressing into the backbone. Don't use your arms. Can you pull one more set of ribs off the floor using your side ribs? Down you come to rest. Now turn onto your side and sit up. Place your feet on the floor about hip width apart in front of you and hold the backs of your knees. Lengthen your spine from the pelvic floor to the crown of the head. Move your front hips away from your navel to pull your lower back toward the front body. Shifting your weight back as little as possible, take your feet off the floor. Rolling your front hip bones down to the floor, raise your feet to the level of your knees. Pushing your navel towards your legs. A surge of energy like a laser from the pelvic floor to the heart. Inhale, straighten your knees as much as you can. Exhale, push the navel towards the legs. If you lose this core lift, bend your knees again slightly. Now breathe in and slowly let go of your knees. Exhale, extend your arms straight forward, palms face each other. One good breath. Breathe in, chest open and lifting. Breathe out, navel pushing towards the legs. Bend your knees, feet to the floor. Join your hands behind your head, elbows wide, and gently round your back. Navel hugging the backbone. Heart open, elbows wide. Slowly lower yourself, breath by breath. Breathe in, you pause. 
Breathe out, your navel pushes you a little lower until your shoulders are as close to knee level as possible. From that position, inhale, raise your feet to knee level. Exhale, straighten your feet to eye level. Steady breathing, one strong breath. Inhale, feet to the floor. Exhale, navel to legs. Release your arms and swing your feet to the side, coming up to a simple squat. Place your feet hip width apart, arms between your legs, palms down. Come up onto the balls of your toes, hips resting on the heels if possible. Bring your arms between your legs, palms down on the floor. Now breathe in, pulling your inner thighs up to the side ribs and your knees to your shoulders. Breathe out. Suck your navel into your backbone, rounding your back and raising your hips to knee level. Once again, inhale, pulling your inner thighs to your side ribs and knees to shoulders. Exhale, suck your navel to your spine, rounding your back. Hips at knee level, no higher. Come down to rest knees on the floor, or even child pose. Let's do that again. Come up onto the balls of your toes, arms between your legs, palms down. Breathe in, pull your inner thighs to your ribs, knees to shoulders. Stare at the floor. Breathe out, suck your navel to your backbone, rounding your back and raising your hips to the level of the knees, no higher. Breathe in, inner thighs up, raise your arms to shoulder height, extending them forward. Breathe out, suck the navel into your backbone, rounding your back. Release, knees to the floor or child pose. Onto your toes again. Arms between your legs. Drop your shoulders, bringing one upper arm and then the other under your upper shins. Place your hands mat width apart, elbows no wider than your hands. And press your arms into the shins to lift your chest and shoulders up again. Don't lean over. And again, breathe in, pull your inner thighs to your side ribs. Breathe out, suck your navel to your spine, rounding your back and raising your hips to knee level. Don't lean over. Keep your chest lifting, gaze forward. Breathe in, push off from your feet and push your elbows forward, scooping your chest up, bringing it forward. Exhale, navel to backbone. Breathe in. Straightening your elbows, they're over your fingers now as your navel sucks into your back. Now pull your feet up into your hips. You're in Bakasana, crane pose. Elbows straight, chest forward and up, steady breathing. Breathe in, bend your elbows, feet back on the floor. Rest on your knees and come to child pose. Lie face down on your mat. You can unfold a blanket under you for extra padding if you need it. Rest your forehead on your hands and separate your feet mat width apart with your toes facing the end of the mat. Crocodile pose. Feel your breath move your lower back ribs, expanding them while breathing in. Ribs relax when breathing out. They move like gills. Expanding, relaxing making you aware of this part of your back. Keep that rhythm going as with a breath out, 
You lengthen your spine from ribs to tail and gently curl your tailbone toward the floor. Don't overdo this movement. You don't want your thighs to press down, only your tailbone. As you do this, you may feel your abdomen pull slightly away from the floor. This generates important abdominal support that your lower back needs in back bends. Also, placing your feet slightly wider than hip width gives your sacral joints more space and works deep into inner hip muscles. Now lift your hips slightly and roll your thighs in toward each other. Keeping your inner thighs lifting, once again press the tailbone down as you bring your hips to the floor. Forehead on hands, breathe in, raising your right leg, knee straight off the floor, focused pose. Lift from the upper inner thigh and keep breathing. Inhale, lower that leg down. Other side. Breathe in, raise the left leg. Exhale, elongate the left leg, pushing the ball of the foot into the space behind you. Continue to root your tailbone. Lower that leg down. And rest for a moment. As you rest, continue to breathe consciously. You may find that breathing while backbending is the most challenging of all the sequences you've practiced. However, the importance of steady breathing, keeping your breath out equal to your breath in, and breathing with your mouth closed can't be underestimated. Backbends are stimulating to the spine and nervous system. They invigorate the body. Holding your breath can agitate your nerves and that's not a good thing. Keep your right hand under your forehead. Stretch your left arm straight forward, just slightly wider than shoulder width, palm down. Inhale and once again raise your right leg, leading with the inner thigh, keeping the knee straight and the tailbone pressed down. Breathe in again, curling your chest off the floor, raising your left arm and extending it forward. Each breath in, lift the chest and inner right leg. Each breath out, extend the arm and leg away from each other. Long neck, shoulders away from the ears. Another version of locust pose. Inhale and release. Hands under forehead. Steady your breathing. Extend your right arm forward, palm down. Breathe in, raise the left leg, lead with the inner thigh, knee straight. Breathe in again, curl your chest up, raise the arm, inner arm lifting, and extend the arm. Each breath in, the chest and inner leg lift. Each breath out, extend the arm and leg away from each other. Long neck, steady breathing, release. As you rest, stay tuned in to the inner flow of the breath, in and out, massaging your body, keeping you calm to your core. One more variation of Locust Pose. With your forehead resting on the floor, bring your arms to your sides, palms up. With as much effort as you use to raise your legs, now root your feet firmly to the mat, knees straight, inner thighs lifting, tailbone pressed down. Inhale, raise your arms several inches from the floor, palms up, and as though someone is pulling your arms toward your feet, exhale, extending the arms toward the feet, pulling your upper body off the floor. Next day's long, gaze at the mat, Roll your collarbones higher and higher. Each breath in, the chest opens and lifts. Each breath out, pull your lower abdomen in and up to rise even higher. Come back down, relax to the floor, and rest for a moment. 
as always, during rests between backbends, you focus on your breathing, slowing it down, giving space to the out-breath. Let's do it again. Forehead on the floor, feet wider than hips. Ground the feet, straight knees. Tuck your tail. Breathe in, raise the arms, palms up. Breathe out, extend your arms towards your feet, rolling your collarbones up. Breathe in, arms reaching towards the feet, feet pressed down. Breathe out, pull your lower abdomen back and up to find core lumbar support as well as lift. Use each breath in to expand and lift the chest. Each breath out, pull your lower abdomen back and up for support and lift. Release. Back to the floor, steady breathing, slow it down. Focus on long out breaths. Steady exhales keep your nerves steady. Place your palms on the floor under your shoulders, fingers facing forward, and gently squeeze your elbows in. Cobra pose. As in the previous asana, Root your feet and tailbone. Now as you breathe in, expand and lift your chest. Exhale, press your hands down, letting that push lift your collarbones up and back slightly. Come back down again. Build Cobra Pose in waves of movement. Again, root the feet and tailbone, elbows in. Breathe in, expand and lift your chest. Breathing out, press your hands down, rolling your collarbones up and shoulders back. Float back down. Steady breathing. A little higher this time. Inhale, root the feet, the tail, and expand, lifting the chest. It's like a balloon, collarbones up. Breathe out, press the hands down, pulling your abdomen toward your lower back and pushing your shoulders toward your feet. Your elbows are getting straighter. Steady breathing. Release back down. Inhale, root the feet, the tail. Expand and lift the balloon of the chest. Exhale, push your hands into the floor and roll your collarbones back, allowing that movement to pull your elbows straighter and straighter. Tail tucks. Lower belly in and up, shoulders toward the feet, gazing forward and down. Now, curl your toes under and breathe in. Imagine someone is pulling your chest forward as though your breastbone is on a leash. Let it be pulled forward. As you push forward from your toes, elbows forward and straight, roll over your toes into upward facing dog pose. Press down with your hands and feet. Gaze forward, chest to chin with each breath in. Steady your breathing. Release and rest face down for a moment. Steady your breathing. Notice how the back bend has influenced your breath. Of course, your breath will be stronger, perhaps faster, a reflection of the vigorous nature of back bends, but it's still steady. Steadiness. Is evidence of calmness in your core. And wait before repeating your back bend until you can breathe steadily without effort. Breath out equal to the breath in. Let's repeat that sequence from Cobra to Upward Facing Dog Pose once more. This time focus on making each out breath count. It's complete and equal to the previous breath in. Palms on the floor under your shoulders, elbows in. Feet mat width apart. Root your feet, tailbone and hands. Breathe in, expand and lift your chest. Breathe out, push down with your hands, rolling your collarbones up and your shoulders towards your heels. Shoulders away from your ears as well so the neck is long. You gaze forward. Pulling your lower abdomen back and up toward the heart lifts you even further into your back bend. 
Press down with your hands to move your shoulders toward your feet, straightening your elbows as much as possible. Turn your toes under, and again, as though your sternum is on a string, inhale, feel the breastbone pulled forward as you push off from your feet, elbows forward, straighten your arms and roll over your toes, upward facing dog pose. Shoulders towards the feet, heart on a leash. Press the feet down, lifting the inner thighs, tailbone forward, strong, steady breath. Come down to the knees and push up and back, resting in child pose, hips on heels, head on the floor or folded arms. Slow your breathing down. Separate your knees now a little wider than your ribs and stretch your arms forward, head still down. Press your hips towards your heels. Breathe. Relaxation Pose. Lie on your back with your legs outstretched and relaxed, your arms six to eight inches away from the sides of your body, and your head on the floor or a folded blanket if you wish. If your lower back is uncomfortable, roll up a blanket underneath your knees. Now close your eyes and fall back into the floor. Let your closed eyes help you to become aware of your internal body. You can feel it by letting the breath move you. You can hear the inner body as you listen to the sound of the gentle breath moving out and in. Your breath is like a heartbeat. Your breath is the heart of your vital body. Imagine each breath pumping new life through you, just as the heart pumps blood. Let this inner movement expand you so you're no longer shrinking, no longer tight. If the mind wanders, bring it back to your internal body by focusing on your breathing. Look inside your body with your mind's eye and visit spaces that have been visited by your active poses. Places that you may have forgotten about, spacious inner hips, a soft belly.
before you open your eyes, become aware of your surroundings again and imagine yourself looking out at your surroundings from deep inside. Now open your eyes. Opening your eyes may pull your attention immediately from your core and into the outside world. So with the eyes open, relax them and look back inside once again. It's like looking out through a window. Be aware of how you are at this moment, both engaged with your surroundings and completely in touch with your inner self. Try to let this feeling linger 